All right, welcome to week two of the Friday Night Blitz. The Skeezer Schools once again having the stage to themselves. And our game of the week, Heathwood Hall hosting Ben Lippin. The Highlanders trying to go 2-0 on the season. A hot night over at Heathwood Hall. Staying hydrated was key for everyone. Now it was 7-2, Ben Lippin, after Heathwood Hall had scored on a safety when Ben Lippin was called for an intentional grounding in the end zone. And more work on the ground, shall we say. Ronnie Porter for Heathwood Hall, breaking tackles for good yardage. Ben Lippin head coach James Reynolds telling his guys to wrap up. Same drive. Alex Lewis, the quarterback, will keep, and he will turn the corner, and he will get into the end zone, a 10-yard touchdown run. And it is 9-7 in favor of the Highlanders, who take the lead. Now, Falcons driving in the second quarter, but they cough it up in the red zone. Heathwood Hall recovers, so it remains 9-7. Heathwood Hall still with the lead going into the break at halftime. Now. It was still 9-7 in the end of the third quarter, switching ends. There's Porter again getting ready for the fourth quarter, and Heathwood has it around the 10-yard line, and Lewis to Will Morris, who beats two defenders to go, go up and snag it. That makes it 16-7, Heathwood with the lead. You know, Heathwood had been pounding the ball all night, but they go to the air on that connection. And the Highlander student section, they're excited. And one more touchdown for you, it's the aforementioned Ronnie Porter, and he will Bang his way in from four yards out. And Heathwood Hall is 2-0 for the first time in more than 10 years. 23-7, the final Highlanders defeat Ben Lippin. Down to the low country. Hammond on the road taking on Porter Gowd. In the second quarter, the Skyhawks come alive. They were down seven. But C.J. Stokes gets the call, turns the corner, turns on the Jets. And that is a 68-yard scamper to the end zone. And just like that. Game is tied at seven. Next high Skyhawk drive. Stokes gets the carry again. This time cuts back inside. Moves his way through the Porter Gow defense. In for a second score of the day. 13 to seven, Hammond. Then on the punting situation, Andrew Wilson feels it for Hammond. Makes one man miss and he has a clear shot to the pylon. A 34 yard return just like that and it's 19 to six. Skyhawks up two scores. And then continuing to click is Hammond. Stokes with another carry. Pushes his way forward until he finds a seam and he's gone. 33 yards, his third score of the night. Skyhawks up 26 to seven and just over two to play in the half. Kelly Sales went high and is intercepted by Brig Brandon. He's got nothing but green grass, a 35 yard pick six. He had a pick last week against Ben Lippin. He has another one this week and Hammond rolls 54 to seven over Porter Gow. They hold another opponent to just one score. Over in Sumter, the Wilson Hall Barons taking on Lee Academy under the lights. And we will pick things up in the second quarter. Jake Hutchinson returns it for the Barons and he goes all the way into the end zone for a Baron touchdown. Watch him make some moves here as he knifes through the Robert E. Lee Punt team, and here he goes. Barron's up 14-0 at that point. And then on the very next possession, how about some defense for Wilson Hall? They get the sack to force a long third down for Lee Academy. And then on the next play, it's Hampton Watson seals it for the Barons as he forces the fumble. And we're gonna have a little scoop and score action over in Sumter. And the Barons are 1-0 on the season. They defeat Lee Academy by a final of 40 to six. And over at Thomas Sumter Academy, new head coach Brandon Tidwell and the Generals taking on Carolina Academy. Thomas Sumter trying to go 2-0 in the Tidwell era. Second quarter, Ethan Lizenby's pass is picked off by Matthew Joy. And Joy ends up taking this one to the distance, but it was called back. It's still a pretty incredible, uh, pretty incredible play, but two plays later, Austin Brown makes it up as he dashes his way up the middle for a Bobcat touchdown. The visitors from Lake City looking very strong, and they roll to a 42-6 victory over Thomas Sumter Academy, spoiling Tidwell's home debut for Thomas Sumter. Hey, down in Augusta, packed house at Augusta Christian. They were hosting Cardinal Newman. And first quarter, Augusta Christian quarterback Jeff Bradford over the middle, caught by Terrence Vendiver. Shakes a tackle and it's a foot race to the end zone. And he's gone 36 to six, Augusta Christian at that point. And the home team defeats Carl Newman by a final of 50 to six. All right, that's it for now for the first half of the Friday Night Blitz, but stay with us talking Gamecock football when we return, stay with us.